1956 Bedford Type A pickup truck. This one, as you can see, is presented in a beautiful condition. Normally these sort of older commercial vehicles have are held to a slightly lower standard than the classic cars of the same age. Um, whereas this one, I think it can compete with any classic on a show field quite happily. Surprisingly easy to drive, standard gear, sort of standard pattern gearbox. All the pedals are in the normal place. Steering is particularly light for the size of it as well. Um, and it's actually not as big as it looks. Um, you know, we've just driven it in through our doors, through the normal space of a car. Quite happy, easy enough to do. All right, let's start by having a look at the bodywork. If we start on this driver's side, obviously it's the, uh, what we believe is the original color of green over black. If you check the description, we'll detail all that in there for you. You've got this front driver's wing. Normally this seam, you'd find a bit of corrosion coming through, but as you can see, that's lovely and clean all the way around. Rest that front wing. Nice and tidy all the way across. Inside the arch, obviously you can get a good look in there because it's a good size. Lovely and clean all the way around. No sign of any corrosion on the lip. It's all nice and sharp again all the way around. All good on that. You've got a good wheel and tyre on the front. You could do with a good clean wheel, do that. And then it comes down onto this step, which again is lovely and tidy. All the uh, tread plates are nice and clean. You've got a couple of little chips here where it's caught the paint at some point. And it's just got a bit of surface corrosion, so that one's cleaned and painted off a little bit. Um, but you can see underneath, all nice and solid under there. Bodywork on the cab itself. Again, around this seam area, you'd find normally a bit of corrosion, but as you can see, lovely and clean and tidy. Where it meets the wing, they've got a sort of leather. I think they're leather, aren't they? Um, seam, that's nice and tidy again. Around the wing mirror is good. There's a little bit of surface corrosion and pitting on the, uh, on the mirror. Other than that, all good. We've got a little bit of dried polish there, so ignore that. Put that window back up. You can see the windows are nice and clear as well and bright. A little bit of pitting on the handle. There's a mark here where there's been a bird boo at some point, but we are going to give the car a good polish up, so hopefully that'll get rid of that. This seam down the bottom here. Okay, lovely and tidy. You can see the bottom of the cab corner is all good. And again, if I'm under here, you can have another look underneath. Really nice and tidy under there. It's definitely not done a day's work in a long, long time. Uh, and again, this seam along the top here, okay, nice and clean. Moving down towards the back of the vehicle, got these lovely metal frame, wood side, same colour as the body, drop sides on all three sides, nice gloss black arch and tank to match the rest of the car. Again, nice and clean and tidy. You can see the chassis is really good in there as well. Another good wheel and tyre. This wheel arch again, nice. It's got one little chip here where it's caught something and chipped the paint. All the wood on this side is nice. It's not been slammed down or anything. All the hinges are good. It's a little bit of water in the back, so ignore that. Um, and it's left a little bit of a slightly rusty mark from these two tools. So we will get that cleaned off. You can see if I rub it with my finger, it does start to come off. So we'll get that cleaned off. It's just come through, come inside from the rain. So it's got a little bit of wet in there. We'll obviously dry all that off, clean it all off. Underneath there again, see the underside of the bed. All nice and clean and tidy, chassis rails, all that sort of stuff, all good. Round at the back, it does have a tow bar with a more modern seven pin electrics. Should you want to stick a caravan or a trailer or something on the back to go to a show. Okay, nice round, round this, this metal section here, all good. The wood's lovely on it as well. Normally there's a little bit of swelling somewhere, but this seems to be all nice all the way around. Even the pins have been painted green, which is nice. I'll have another look underneath from here. See the underside of that bed, really, really good. Nice and tidy. Quite expensive things to restore, generally, these things, but this has obviously been done well. It's come from quite a regular customer of ours. That's all he collects is uh, commercial vehicles, but this one, it's time for it to move on. He's had his fun with it. Nice and clean on that rear arch. Another good wheel and tyre. See the wood from this side again. All clean and tidy. Like I said, there's a bit of water in there, which we'll clean out. But other than that, all good. You can see the, the bulkhead as well. Straight and tidy, all clean along there, around the window at the back there, that's all good. And then on this side of the cab, at the bottom again, I know it's quite dark there, see if we can brighten that up a little bit. Clean and tidy, footstep, it's all nice underneath there. All the tread plates are good. This front arch and wing, all those seams are nice inside there, just as clean as the other side. Another good wheel and tire. There's not really any marks on the doors or the cab, particularly to note. Even the door shuts are lovely and clean. 
We'll have a look up on the roof. Okay, the roof could do with a good polish. It's obviously had a good hand polish fairly recently, the whole car, but people always forget the roof. The roof wants a good polish up there, like you can see. A little bit faded. It's a good polish. Around the screen, obviously split windows. Both of those around the seams, all nice and tidy, and the gutters are all good as well. Rest of the bonnet, nice and straight. We will have a look on this screen on this side as well. Okay, nothing to complain about there. On this scuttle panel, that's all clean and tidy. Rest of the bonnet, that's all good. Bed for front barge. A little bit of pitting here and there, but nothing major. Generally pretty good. And it has had a little lucky horseshoe put on there as well. Front end, the gloss black painted bumper. Nice and tidy. There's a little bit of corrosion on the washer behind the nuts and bolts that hold it on, but that is me being very, very picky. Have a look underneath from here as well. You can see all clean and tidy under there. Chrome work on the grill, around the lights, nice and clean. A little bit of pitting on the uh, side light stanchions. But generally, very nice and tidy. Perfectly usable for a show. Perfectly usable for a, for a good weekend toy or whatever you want to do with it. Going on to the interior, you've got painted doors. Lovely and clean, they've been done really well, nice and tidy. And they've not been scraped and scratched, which is good. It's got a red vinyl interior with a green piping. It's had a little repair here at some point, but it hasn't been a bad job. You've got a single driver seat, twin seat on the passenger side. Got all your right plaques down here. The Bedford ID numbers and all that sort of stuff. Quite a bit of wear on the steering wheel. Which personally I quite like. Obviously that's from before the restoration. They've left it as it is. It's showing 51,000 miles. We'll detail what we know as far as sort of description and thing, uh, service history and paperwork and stuff like that in the, uh, in the description. All the chrome work on that bezel is lovely and tidy. Once a good clean, which we'll do, like I say. The dials are lovely and clean and bright. Go around and have a look in the passenger side. So single seat for the driver, twin seat on the passenger side, lovely and tidy. All the beading and everything's good. Painted dash, this side nice and clean, just as, as tidy as the driver's side. All right, we'll get a look in the engine bay. Like I say, three and a half litre, six cylinder engine. Nice and clean and tidy in here. There's a little bit of dust that could be done with sort of detailed away. You can see there it's all clean underneath. You can see down at the chassis there. Again, tidy. The inner wings are all good. You can park here for about 20 minutes, half an hour, so dropping any fluid out from under there. We'll get it started up. Again, like I say, some of these older commercial stuff can be a bit complicated to operate, but this one nice and easy. Ignition on. There you go, it fires up straight away on the button. Really nice noise as well for commercial vehicles. Six cylinder sort of throaty growl. We haven't really got much in the way of gauges to look at, um, as far as sort of warning lights or oil pressure or anything like that goes, but yeah, lovely and smooth. Um, I have briefly driven it down the road, it does drive very well as well. So there you have it, Bedford Type A pickup, any questions at all please get in touch, thank you.